back to Wound Buddies, the brother podcast. I'm Austin, the older brother. This week, minus one brother, plus two special guests. We have Madison and Mitchell with us. Say hi. Hello. Hello. They are uh, going to fill in for the one brother who is somewhere in California right now, as we record, headed to Hawaii, the the many islands out in the Pacific. And then uh, hopefully he'll be back next week, or he quit last week. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I haven't got the full story. There was uh, He walked out real hard last time. <laughs> so uh, let's just start with that. I'll, I'll give you the question that ruined the show and maybe ended it forever. Watch us get up and walk. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you feel like that is what's necessary, this question might be like buried forever. <laughs> so my question was: Is a coin a two sided die? I mean, it could be. I, yeah, it could be considered a two sided die. You're much more receptive than he was. <laughs> he immediately shut it down. Went quiet for like two minutes to research on the internet during the podcast. So I had to try and fill the air. <laughs> and then he decided it was not because a coin is a piece of money. So it can't be a two-sided tie. <laughs> yeah, but we use it for heads or tails. Exactly. So therefore, I mean, one or two. Yeah. I'm glad you're on board because I don't know that I've ever met another person that's been on board with me on that one. <laughs> Everybody else is like, you're insane. And I'm like, it's a, a flat thing. You flip it, uh, one of two things. Yeah, yeah. You ain't wrong. Open your mind to the possibilities. <laughs> I like it. This episode already going swimmingly much better than last week. <laughs> we just have to make sure nobody walks out this time. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start, I guess, well, we started with that, but we'll continue with uh, current events. That's so, what we like to do. What's I up? found one. You found one. I'm ready for it. I did. Okay. So apparently, I guess this is going to go like hand in hand with Brendan's normal produce update, but gotcha. I don't work in a grocery store produce department, so I don't know much about it. But my current event is about a little known Japanese fruit that now has a cult following. <laughs> oh. So apparently it's called a sumo citrus fruit. And it is a cross between a navel orange, palmello, and a mandarin. And it tastes like an extra sweet mandarin orange. Apparently it peels easily. And it's like, I don't know, I think it's like an ugly looking thing. Like kind of like shriveled is what it, you know, <laughs> was described as. But apparently, like I don't know if sumo wrestlers like eat this a lot. Or like if it kind of looks it? like it. Yeah. It's just orange. Oh, okay. Um, but, like, I think it uh, looks like the knot on the sumo wrestler's, like, diaper thing that they wear. So, like, they named That's it they the named sumo it citrus fruit. That's funny. <laughs> I would just like to say, whoever set up the website for the sumo citrus, bravo. I mean, <laughs> whew. <laughs> this is a good website. You can play with the orange at the top. It'll shake around when you put the mouse over it. That's awesome. Oh, so, no. There's, now there's only four weeks left in the season. What? There's only four weeks left in the sumo citrus season. Uh-oh. Get them now. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm now realizing I just screenshotted this article, but I only took two screenshots. So I didn't get to the part about the cult, which is kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> but they apparently now have a cult following because they're so good. Hmm. Interesting. Where do you order sumo citrus from? I don't know. Japan. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. Whole Foods has it, and you can order it on Amazon, baby. Hold on. Yikes. Three ninety nine a pound. That's not bad. It seems pretty high. Uh, I mean, we pay like five dollars for a pint of raspberries, so. Ooh. True. <laughs> I'd have to pay for thirty five dollars worth to get free two hour shipping. Three two hours. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Are they just like on the plane ready to go? I feel like they're just at the Whole Foods and they're going to go pick them up. Oh, I forgot you said Whole Foods. You're going to fly the drone over there and just bomb them on? Yeah. You ever just had an orange dropped on your house? Do you need $35 in general or $35 in sumo citrus oranges? It's in general, but I just didn't need any other produce or anything right now. 
Well, if we make this a really long episode, we can get, <laughs> we can get sumo <laughs> citrus. <laughs> Oh, I guess I should mention before we go too far. Uh, this episode slightly different than the other episodes. We're in two different places. Usually, I'm sitting like four feet from my brother, and we're <laughs> attempting to punch each other in the face the whole time. Uh, we're many miles apart right now, so if it sounds strange, that's why. We sound all like robotic. Like, <laughs> 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 people, people. Like I'm just going to add this to my cart and leave it there just for later. Oh, okay. There's only four weeks left, though. The cult by the night's end. <laughs> <laughs> this is a... Uh... Oh, hold on. There was a where to buy on the website. I didn't even look at it. Awesome. Let me go back. I guess Whole Foods is the answer. Oh, Kroger's got them, too. Well, These are a thing. Huh. Interesting. I wonder yeah. if they are that good. I might have to go get me some sumo fruit. This would be a perfect reason to have the damn TikTok, which we still haven't made a damn video for. <laughs> I'm surprised. Just need to take that over. <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't like quit the show because of that. <laughs> that is true. Or the Instagram. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know that he understands what TikTok is. He keeps telling me that I don't know, but... Ooh. <laughs> I think he just thinks like nothing is TikTok with what he keeps telling you. I, I still haven't figured out why we made one. Because he wanted to put 69 in the name. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got that wish. Now we just need to find some sort of video to put on there. <laughs> true. I unfortunately don't know the password, so I can't. Well, it's probably one of his other passwords. I would imagine so. Unfortunately, I don't know any of those either. Yeah. I'll just get into his life. Find out all his passwords. I'm sure his one password is probably all of his passwords. So I and did have to... Uh, on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to cut out half his social security number from a uh, previous <laughs> podcast. So <laughs> He's not the brightest when it comes to keeping personal information. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Some people. Your brother. Correct. <laughs> I would not be surprised if he like had his social security card in his wallet, which is something you should never do. Well, okay, so I used to do that, and then my oh girlfriend yelled at me about it. <laughs> where I was like, all right, fine. So now it's you know at our house. But that's yeah. I was doing an orientation the other day at work. And um, I didn't tell her, like, to bring anything. I was just like, whatever. Because, like, you know, she's worked for us before. So I was like, she, she probably knows all our information. Like, whatever. It's fine. So, like, we go to do the I-9. And I was like, hey, can you con confirm your Social Security number? And she whips out her Social Security card from her wallet. And I was <laughs> like, ooh, you probably shouldn't do that. But then I was like, I mean, it works for me. So, <laughs> but not only did she have hers... She had her daughter's social security card with her, too. So, like, she accidentally handed me her daughter's. And I was like, oh, no. Like, that's oh. the wrong one. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus. That's pretty bad. <laughs> don't, people, don't keep your social security cards with you. Just no. know your number and keep it in a safe. Mm-hmm. It's not that crazy. I always forget the first three numbers of mine. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> all right i have more to go on the produce update all right let's uh, this would be this isn't part of brendan's produce update because he's picky about what is and isn't produce oh jesus we had a whole pickle discussion last week it was something doesn't think that's a produce but no it's he's a cucumber well here's what i said you take the cucumber you put it in old water and it becomes a pickle so I said it's a produce, but he said it's in the canned food aisle, so whatever. I mean, if you have, like, fresh dill pickles, you can get them at the deli. That's true. That's also not produce, so we're still I mean, losing. Kind of, like, connected to the produce. <laughs> it depends on the store you're in. Okay, proceed. Anyway, uh, apparently, I'm reading here, this was published one day ago, 
Uh, there's a ketchup shortage in the U.S. What? We don't have any ketchup have either. Any. <laughs> this uh, piggybacks on my Taco Bell sauce packet uh, story from last week. I was talking about how on eBay they're going for a lot of money now. Yeah. Yeah. For whatever reason. Like the marry me one. Mm-hmm. Just now, just normal ketchup packets are too. So interesting. Last, hold on. Let me let me jump on eBay here real quick. Before the uh, week that we didn't make a podcast, I was bidding on uh, Taco Bell packets. <laughs> I did not win, well, but I did upbid somebody real good. <laughs> what should you have invested in Taco Bell sauce packets? Uh, had I won, I think I was gonna pay like seven dollars for two hundred and forty-five or something like that. That seems like a really good deal. I mean, you get them for free though, so just like go to Taco Bell a bunch of times and accumulate the sauce packets. See, that's what Brendan said, but now I can't I can't agree with you because that's what he said. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> you can get uh Lay's ketchup chips. Ew. $28.99. What about wow. the Pringles? Uh the Pringles I might still have. Hold on. Didn't you like those? Yeah. There they are. Pringles. Absolutely disgusting. I like your Lysol wipes among Oh, thank you. <laughs> They're a lot easier than like trying to find a rag and putting like actual cleaning stuff on them. That's fair. So I just keep those there to wipe things down, even though I'm pretty sure it's full. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Thought that counts. Yeah, I think about cleaning and then I just don't. <laughs> uh, the other uh, food thing I have, because my current events are always food related because I'm always hungry. Uh, Krispy Kreme has a new Oreo glazed cookie donut. Oof, that sounds really hmm. gross and sugary, but I love donuts. Oh, I didn't watch the video from their Twitter. Hold on. A whole new way to Oreo. Oh, it's actually, it came out two days ago. As of the recording, which is a day before. So three days ago for people listening. The the new flavor triggered uh, the I think there's three new flavors of Pop Tarts coming out this year. Ooh. Hold the phone, what? Yeah. Now we're gonna have to do a new Pop Tarts episode. Yeah. If you all like the YouTubes, go to Tongue Labs on YouTube and go watch us eat things and usually hurt. Yeah. We're kind of funny sometimes. <clears throat> oh my goodness! Oh no, this is. This is the disgusting pink lemonade one. Oh, my God. Ugh. How do I find in Spanish? No, I don't want it in Spanish. Oh, boy. All right, I'll look those up later. Yeah, go watch us eat foods at Tongue Labs on YouTube. And then uh, we'll tell you what the best ones are and what the worst ones are. Uh, spoiler alert, ketchup Pringles did well. And pink lemonade Pop-Tarts <laughs> did not. They absolutely did not. Chemical they were form. bad. I have a th my theory about uh, you can't put liquids into Pop Tarts, and it has not been proven wrong yet. So the new flavors are lemon cream pie, banana cream pie, and peach cobbler. And going hard on the desserts. Yeah. The lemon one might not be terrible. I don't like banana, so that's already out. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had peach cobbler, but I like peach stuff, so. Peach cobbler is good stuff. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Uh, essentially, like if you're thinking about like a baked dessert stuff, you have cake, which is just all pastry type deal. Yeah. You have pie, which is like pastry with filling. And then you have cobbler, which is like pie without the crust. Oh, so it's just like a baked. Yeah. yeah. It's goo with some crispies on top. Interesting. Crustless pie. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good stuff. I enjoy it. Of all the uh, the dessert foods, I would put cobbler at the top. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, then you need to make us some cobbler, and then we can try. <gasps> Maybe what? that should be an episode. I'll make a cake. And then we can, like, buy a pie because I tried to make one of those one time and that didn't go well. And then you can make the cobbler and then we'll have, like, the battle of the desserts. Pies are not that hard to make. Well, excuse me, sir. I went to culinary <laughs> school for a bit. 
I don't know that I ever made a pie in school. Well, excuse me, sir. You can make the pie and the cobbler then. Double the okay. work for you. I would Thank you. go buy one. Can you we know, free calendar seventy nine at the store? That's fine. But sure, you go ahead, show off, bake it. I will. <laughs> what kind of pie do you want? Apple. Okay. Only kind caramel. Of pie. No. Mm. I don't like caramel. Well, <laughs> so I'm really picky about when I like caramel. <laughs> really picky, as in the only time she eats caramel is on a caramel apple. <laughs> But not like a baked apple. Like, I don't no, want to do my like apple pie. A caramel apple on a stick <laughs> from the cider mill. That's the only caramel apple carameling she will eat. Sprinkles or no sprinkles? On a caramel apple? Correct. I would like chocolate chips. Okay. Or peanuts, but I can't because of this one. Oh, yeah. So, chocolate chips it is. <laughs> I'd, I'd yeah. get the chocolate chips over the sprinkles, too. Hmm. You don't want just sugar on top of sugar? No. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is still sugar on top of sugar, but... <laughs> yeah, but the chocolate's got some extra stuff in there. No, we went... We had... Uh, Big V has a frozen hot chocolate, <laughs> and they do a caramel drizzle on it. And I always get the frozen hot chocolate, and then she always, you know... Steals it and tries drinking half of it. Steals one sip and um, then I get yelled at. Thank so you today, much. or so anyway, she, she's like, "Oh, I want one," and I was like, "All right." So we went through, and she's like, "All right, but I don't want any caramel on it." And I was like, "There's, it's caramel drizzle. It's like just on the whipped cream." She's like, "Yeah, I don't want any." I was like, "That's like the best part." And she's like, "No." <laughs> I was like, "Will you eat it on anything?" And she's like, "Yeah, caramel and apple." <laughs> For a frozen hot chocolate, do you have to heat it up and then freeze I it? I tell you, it might just be hot, like chocolate milk, and it's blended with ice to make yeah, it slushy. Yeah, I bet you that's what it is. That's some good marketing right there. I'm pretty sure that's what it has to be. Yeah, I'm sure that's what we're just going to give you chocolate milk, but we're going to make it fancy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Blend it with ice, make it a slurpy, pretty much. And yeah. then with They're cream. pretty good. I love them. They're good. I think I've had one before and I spilled it all over, I think, my grandpa's car. So, <laughs> Wait, which grandpa? Uh, mine on the other side, not your okay. side. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm good at spilling stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How many things did you spill in the apartment? <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, well, there was the, the smoothie that I almost spilled twice. Um, I definitely did spill at once, at least. Uh, I don't think I. I don't think that one hit the ground. I, I no, because that... remember it got like all over our um end table in the uh the couch. Mm, maybe it did spill. I don't remember. Yeah. I'm gonna choose to not and remember then, that part. <laughs> and then when you uh spilled the Mike's hard lemonade all over me on my dad's couch. Yeah, that Didn't happened. On the couch, just on me. <laughs> I'm very selective with what I spill things on. I'm pretty sure I still have a stain on that cardigan from that. <laughs> yeah, that's a memory. It is. <laughs> what else did I spill? Um, many, just many drinks in general. I'm too. I like hand motions. <laughs> so if the drink's in front of me, it's going down. <laughs> I got to be careful to put it like across the table from me, yeah. where I can't hand motion into it it's super true where were you going with this produce update the, the ketchup that that was oh. where i was going mike was, the ketchup okay. yeah. i agree with brendan that's not produce oh wow well. it's the same pickle. thing as a pickle no it's not yeah you or just put i guess no it's not tomatoes and vinegar and then you smush them up i mean i guess it's a condiment like that's like a straight up condiment well it's produce like adjacent. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's right there, but it's not quite produce. I got you. All right, cool. Well, I wanted to talk about my my cut. Uh, what are those uh, Taco Bell packets from last time? Oh yeah, yeah. I still have not. I haven't gone back to bid on anything, so <laughs> I haven't won yet. But someday, I'm gonna win some Taco Bell sauce. You'll get there. Someday. <laughs> I'm telling you, I see the marry me one all the time. Like that cannot be that rare. It was uh 
Hold on. Now I gotta look it back up. Rare Taco Bell. There were... It might have been just because it was, like, the hot or something like that. Oh. Uh, hold on. Oh, the whole this whole Taco Bell is selling for twenty five thousand on eBay. That's not helpful. The whole Taco Bell? Let's go buy a Taco Bell. Do you have twenty five thousand dollars? No, but we can go like get a loan. That's. I guess we could. Hold on, let me go back and see where the Taco Bell was. Oh, it was just an item. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a whole Taco Bell. Oh, this brings up another fun topic that I was going to talk about. Okay, I'm ready. So, uh, last week, our episode came out on April Fool's. Yep. The the 1st of April. We realized towards the end, uh, when Brendan found an article about Mario dying, that that was an April Fool thing. Oh, okay. Uh, Listening back to the episode, I don't know that anything we said in that episode was real. Really? I think we were almost definitely fully fooled like four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> with like current events and stuff? Uh, yeah, there was one where it was like KFC was just stealing other people's slogans. I feel like that was definitely an April Fool's one. Yeah. Uh, what else did we talk about last week? Let me see here. Let me pull up here. Uh, the hot sauce packets were real. Oh, Burger King put up a thing where they put like a a uh, whopper in the Suez Canal, like mm-hmm. that big old boat that was stuck. That was probably some sort of April Fool's thing. Oh, is that uh, what you say that? The Suez Canal? When yeah. When I saw that, I was like, oh, they're in the Suez Canal. <laughs> <laughs> that one's a Suez. The Suez Canal. Where is the Suez Canal? Over by uh, Egypt. You know the part where, like, the Mediterranean, like, kisses the, the where the Indian Ocean comes up by Egypt? Yeah, I didn't know it was all the way over there. Yep. It's on fire. Oh, my God. My bad thing? Yeah, the chair's on fire now. I'm sorry. Oh, you warm over there? I guess. Maybe I have a fever. Yeah, cool off. It's it's warm today in Michigan. It is. It was. It was 81 today. 81 degrees. We were just, like, two episodes ago talking about how it was freezing still. Yeah. Crazy. Michigan weather is something. I, I know everybody has weird weather and they're all like, oh, the there's tornadoes here. I don't care. <laughs> I think last year we had like a two-day difference of 100 degrees at one point. Yes. No, yeah, was no, 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 no. It was during the there, polar vortex. There was, yeah, when it was negative 40 and then it was a 40-degree day a uh, day and a half later. It was something. I was wearing shorts like the day after I was wearing like a full ski jacket. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was up on a 40 foot silo that negative 40 degree day. Oh, that's something. Uh huh. That was not fun. Mm-mm. I hate the cold. It's the worst thing in the world. I agree. Keep asking when we're moving. You know, if I had some money, <laughs> I'd go somewhere else. <laughs> Truth. <laughs> I'd go somewhere where it was warm. I- Although, even if we go down to Texas, apparently we're going to get slapped with cold now, too. So Apparently. We can't escape it. Global warming. We're going to have to go to, like, the Bahamas. Yeah. I don't know that I, like, trust another country, though. I don't know that I trust Cuba? ours, either. Definitely not. Want to f- go down to Cuba? There you go. Have fun down there. No. All the good cigars. <laughs> Hold on. What am I looking at here? What oh. topic are we on? What's up? What topic are we on? Uh, we were talking about we were talking about the Suez Canal, <laughs> and then <laughs> we were talking about how it's hot. This is a uh, a staple of the show. Is uh, <laughs> if we get onto a topic, it will not stay that topic for very long, <laughs> unless it's uh, Bigfoot dicks, and then we talk about it for about fifteen minutes. Bigfoot dicks. Yeah. Did you listen to that one? <laughs> yeah, I did. That was like episode two or something. Correct. Yeah, we uh, we explored the world of uh, Bigfoot's uh, Bigfoot. My grandma's obsessed with Bigfoot. I'm not sure necessarily his dick, but does she her, know? But... Brendan dropped the fact that their mating call is uh, slapping their large wang up against the tree. <laughs> I, I remember hearing that. <laughs> Oh my god, no. Strangely, there's a segue here to what's sitting in front of me on this computer, which is... Oh, uh, I'm scared. Uh, so, episode one 
uh, myself and Brendan, we were meeting the audience for the first time, so we did some uh, some urban dictionarying of our names. Uh, this doesn't have to do with either of your names, but the word of the day right now is boner jams. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> word of the day. day. <laughs> so, uh, uh, music so good it could ex- 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 elicit sexual arousal. So, wow. just in case you were wondering what the word of the day was today. I want to know what Urban Dictionary says about my name. Well, you are about to find out. Do you want to go first or second? Um, she um, wants to go first. She wants to go first. Here we go. We have the definition of Madison on Urban Dictionary. Are you ready? Ready. Now, I have not read through this yet, but the uh, Brendan and mine were pretty good. Like, they were very uh, flattering. <laughs> Oh no, is mine it's... not going to be? Mine I don't know, I haven't like, read it yet. Ugly fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just preparing you in case. Okay. Maybe Urban Dictionary doesn't like you. We're about All to right. find out. That's fine. Here we go. Sticks and stones. We'll be well, the, oh, the first sentence <laughs> is pretty good. Okay. We have uh, Madisons are nice people. Try to be. Not always. Uh, some <laughs> may be depressed. Maybe. There you go. Okay. Uh most Madisons are shy and don't like people very much. Well, I'm not shy, but I definitely don't like people. <laughs> so there's a check. Uh, usually only have about two close friends. How about zero? <laughs> okay, there you go. You are, you're about 50-50 right now with the definition. All right. Uh, they think they're not beautiful, but they are. Aw, that's nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, very artistic, love to joke around with friends. Um, ooh, I don't think I'm very she's not, artistic. She's not very good at joking around. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll give you artistic then. Okay. Uh, love hoodies? Yeah. Love them. <laughs> there you go. That's in there. Uh, loyal and will love you forever. Yep. I was we'll saying. find out. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. These people are getting married in a few months. <laughs> Apparently, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I did ask him if he thought if I would cheat on him earlier, and he goes, I don't know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so that was not encouraging. No, according to Urban Dictionary, you're safe. All right. So you look at that. I told you. That's good. <laughs> oh, well, here comes the next line. Ready? Oh. <laughs> uh, afraid of being forever alone. Truth. <laughs> I ain't being alone. <laughs> Oh, this this was uh, this definition was made by a Madison apparently. Oh, look at that! Madisons unite. There you go. Uh, now we get into the fun. Like at the bottom, they give you an example of how you would use it in a sentence. So we have uh, friend one here says, <laughs> "Madison is always there for me and puts us before her." And then friend Aww. two says, "I agree, but some people take advantage of her." Ah, true. Social worker. <laughs> 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 let's see if there's better things in the other definitions real quick uh, let's see buh, 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 buh. when you hear the name Madison you'll think she's so gorgeous and she's got everything going for her wow just from my name but actually if you oh, dig God. a little deeper oh no Oh God. Uh, apparently you're sad oh okay well sometimes <laughs> hmm I don't like that one. We're moving on. <laughs> oh, the name of a young girl, usually in her preteens or teens. Oh, well, I'm a little older than that. I feel like your name doesn't change when you grow up. No. Generally. No. Do you have blonde hair with uh, blue eyes? Uh, brown eyes. She's not Hitler. And, well, um, darn. I, have I am. I have blonde hair. Uh, shy girl at first, but it will amaze you. Okay, I'll take that one. Oh, she's the comedian. No. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm hilarious. Uh, her mind will amaze you once you access it. Does my mind amaze you? Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Can be kind of inappropriate. <laughs> Quite a few examples of that that came earlier. <laughs> Goes by Maddie, 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 or Maddie. 
all spelled differently. Well, I have the M A D D Y. She's the M A D D Y. That one's in there. There's also the I E, the oh. single D, and then the D I. You know, I always wished I was a D I, but definitely the D D Y. I mean, you could just change. Yeah, I mean, I've gone like 23 years though going M A D D Y. Which to be fair, when I was first born, and people would call me Maddie. Apparently, my mom used to get really upset about it and say, mm-hmm. no, like, her name's Madison, but now she's, like, prime culprit number one of calling me Maddie. <laughs> I guess, to be fair, to go for the M-A-D-I, you just have to take the S-O-N off the end. That is true. If, if you go for the other one, you have to take I-S-O-N off and then add a second D and a Y. That is true. That's all right. We made it 23 years. We're just going to ride. <laughs> just keeping it the way it is? Yeah. All right. Is it Mitchell's turn? It is Mitchell's turn. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this definition has multiple other names in it. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the second to last sentence. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Mitchells are kind of standoffish, but very open once you get to know them. Uh, oh, do you, do you fucking hate Connors? Connors? <laughs> yeah, specifically Connors. I mean, I've only ever known one Connor, and I, I guess, no, I've never been particularly fond of him. Okay. Uh. <laughs> that was a very aggressive like fucking hate Connor. It, that's the wording I didn't make it up it was uh, in the thing uh, are you very strong and scary I think most would say yes <laughs> I don't know scary. I don't yeah, know. maybe strong maybe, maybe strong <laughs> okay um, always followed by women and Michaels and Michaels gay guys do really like him <laughs> oh there you go <laughs> Uh, and the big bee lady flirted with him today. I don't think she did. <laughs> she said, "Have a nice day." <laughs> she was like, "Have a nice day." <clears throat> That's not how it was said at all. It was. <laughs> I love this. Just continue. I'll just get right here. <laughs> she could have at least given us like your drink free. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason she wanted you to flirt with her so you right. could get free drinks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're we're headed into uh well we got you breathe cool. I breathe cool. You're just a cool guy. Oh, okay, oh. yeah. Um like exhale cool. <laughs> now we get to the sentence that oh, God. just is is something here. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he has one of the biggest dicks in the room. <laughs> in parentheses, eight to fifteen inches. Ooh, I don't know. Is that big? Oh, like, eight? Maybe. <laughs> remember, remember that whole getting up and walking away. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, she's grabbing the tape measure. <laughs> oh, perfect. I need a I'm gonna part. turn off your camera here. I don't want to see this. You can't see me anyway. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not that big. <laughs> Maybe like six. I didn't mean to call you out, Mitchell. I'm so sorry. Right. <laughs> we talking about his pants last night. Hold on. Let me let me scroll down past boner jams here and see if there's a better <laughs> definition for you. <laughs> it gives him like a little bit of pride, though. Like, don't let it fool you. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. He's over here smirking and everything. Okay, this one starts off better. I don't see anything about dicks in it, so we're just gonna go with this one. <laughs> uh, strong, kind, genuine, and like no other man in your life. All right, dig it. Uh, he only wants to be the best for you, even if it, he doesn't know how to. Aww. He will try. That's cute. Uh, he's horrible at communicating, so there is a negative in here. I, no. There's a lot of times that I'm like, hey, you never told me that. You're a sore dude. No, you didn't. You're a sore dude. Oh, here we go. Hardworking, diligent, smart, and loves to have fun. 
Yeah. You're kind of smart sometimes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> now the go away diligent. Thank you. Uh, enjoys outdoors and messing around with bikes and quads. Yeah. Obsessed over trucks and cars. Motor tomorrow. There you go. Uh, stunning blue eyes and brown hair. Wow. Well, black eyes. Pretty... Or no, black hair. Black hair. Yeah. <laughs> black hair, blue eyes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, he can catch the attention of the whole room. Mm-hmm. I got. A, I got a pretty demanding voice. All right. He was also really tall. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a different joke made there. But we'll just continue. <laughs> uh, da, 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 if you, you may just fall in love with him. Yes, so. <laughs> and then it just says, damn, don't let him go at the end. So. Uh, all right, they don't let you go. You can't let me go. There you go. Oh, here we go. Mitchell is super fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Honest and the sweetest. And he uh, loves video games. I don't know about the sweet. Yeah, he sure does. There you go. We turned it around. Great hair. That's in here. Yeah. Oh, you can get loads of girls by walking by them. <laughs> no punctuation at all in that sentence. Good job. <laughs> so we're gonna we're just gonna stick with uh, definition number two here. Thank you, Hoover underscore S. We don't want to talk about his big dick. Uh, do you, who who gave us that one? Uh, Mister underscore Squares gave us that one. Maybe. Probably because Mister underscore Squares is a Mitchell with a big dick. He could be Maybe a small one, but wants a big one. That yeah, he might be compensating. Uh, yeah, I'm willing to bet on the compensation. <laughs> well, there you go. We've learned so much about you, but we're not done. Oh, we're not done? Oh, wow. No, we did more ice breaking uh, on the first episode, so you get to do more ice breaking now. Right. Uh, I pulled up on the first episode a list of 160 first date questions. Ooh. And now you get to answer some. Sweet. Uh, so pick a number between 1 and 160. 17. 17 is a good one. Let's see where we're at here. I got to scroll back up. I figured you'd go more towards the middle. Uh, favorite author? Oh, he doesn't read. I don't, yeah. Oh, you and Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could pull one out like J.K. Rowling or something like that, but... There you go. Uh, according to Brendan, he's self-proclaimed only ever read one book. <laughs> I so I, I was trying to think of the author of Magic Treehouse, and I couldn't. Oh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. You got this. Get it. Do it. I'm, we're referring to. I mean, Carol. that's very childish, but I, I thought it would have been Magic funny. Treehouse. It's a good. We used to play Magic Treehouse. I think it was. Um, it looks like it is. Well, then I got um, this. Oh, sorry. Are you looking it up? Because I'm looking yeah. at a picture oh, yeah, of it. I was say, I'd have to look at the books. Uh... Oh, it's Mary Pope Osborne. There you go. Yeah. Um, that was a fantastic there's... series. There's nah, the Tom Clancy series. Books. I don't know the author, though. I've read most of those. Is it not Tom Clancy? No, I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see. What's Tom got for us? Oh, he's a novelist. Which ones have you read? Hold on. Let's go back to the Magic Treehouse while you do that. How many issues of the Magic Treehouse were there? Oh my gosh, so many. I think when I was reading them, we were up to like, maybe like 40 or 50. I want to say it goes up to like 90 though. Magic oh, Treehouse. Oh my goodness, what is happening here? Nonfiction. Oh, I lied. It only goes up to 54. 54? Okay. Yeah. I've read Rainbow Six, uh, Ghost Recon. Uh... Oh, there's a there's a Magic Tree House where they go to Hawaii. Yes! <coughs> 
box set. I'm sure that's very expensive, but sure. Baby. All right, here's a question for you. Yeah. Uh, number 28 in the Magic Tree House uh, is Thanksgiving. That came out uh, March 25th, 2003. Uh, followed up shortly after on August 1st, 2017 with issue number 29. What happened? Wait. Why are there 14 years without books? Oh, wait. Here, the, here's some books. Oh, I'm confused. Are there more than 55, then? I don't think so. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think Wikipedia is lying to me. How many Magic Tree House books are there? Google said 54. Google like, might be insane. Google. They're still coming out? No. <clears throat> Oh. This this says number thirty four came out in July of last year. No, I feel like yeah, it does. Like, the Magic Treehouse book series continues to grow to this day, with over forty books published around the world. That was April of last year. Huh? Who knew? There. Oh, interesting. Oh, this says there's twenty eight books in the original Magic Treehouse series. Yeah, I was gonna say this is different. So that was uh, up to 2003. Yeah. That was, oh no, that was the Who Hawaii one. The other ones. So. Hmm. Uh, there's only one author. Mary Pope Osborne. So the Merlin series is the ones we read. The Merlin. They were so good. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And I have them all right here. In order. Not in order. Never mind. <laughs> I have them all in order. It's just not the right order. Oh, maybe I do. Uh, I do. So number one was uh, Magic Tree House Merlin Missions. Uh, number one, Christmas in Camelot. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Two was Haunted Castle on Hollow's Eve. Three was Summer of the Sea Serpent. I think that one was one of my favorites. I loved the Camelot one. Ooh. Yeah, the yeah, number one. Yeah. Uh, four, Winner of the Ice Wizard. Five, Carnival at Candlelight. Six, Season of the Sandstorms. Seven, Night of the New... Uh, I think that says Magicians. Eight, Blizzard of the Blue Moon. Nine, Dragon of the Red Dawn. Ten, Monday with a Mad Genius. Eleven, Dark Day in the Deep Sea. Uh, Twelve, Eve of the Empire Penguin. Thirteen, Moonlight on the Magic Flute. Fourteen, A Good Night for Ghosts. Fifteen, Leprechaun in Late Winter. Uh, 16, A Ghost Tale for Christmas Time. 17, A Crazy Day with Cobras. 18, Dogs in the Dead of Night. 19, A Blinken at Last. How these kids never age? <laughs> um, 20, A Perfect Time for Pandas. 21, Stallion by Starlight. 22, Hurry Up Houdini. Uh, 23, High Time for Heroes. Uh, 24, Soccer on Sunday. 25, Shadow of the Shark. 26, Balto of the Blue Dawn. And 27, Night of the Ninth Dragon. Oh, dragons. So that was apparently the Merlin Mission series. Now... I think all the ones I read were the original series. Yeah, I think that's what... Like, I remember the Dinosaurs Before Dark one. I remember the yeah. one, the pterodactyl. Okay, hold on. Oh, that is... Before dark. Yes. <laughs> um, there was one about Pompeii. Yeah, I, 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 did, a pro- I did a project on the Pompeii I did one. a project on the Pirates Past Noon, the Night of the Ninjas. This is These are the so ones So these are the original... Okay. Yeah. Because I definitely read the other series, too, though. I don't think I did. No, like, you're funny right. story yeah. because the Pompeii one, 
I remember it was like when I was first starting, not like learning how to read, but like learning how to read like chapter books. And so my grandma would always make me. Um, Where is the Pompeii one? I thought you oh, it's right here. To it. Yeah. Like I remember all of these. Oh my gosh, this is like nostalgia because i do um, <laughs> a project on this one yes but i remember they, there was a scene in the book where a guy was like pushing his piano up like the cobblestone like trying to get away from the volcano that was exploding but i read it as he was pushing his potato up the street and my grandma like busted out laughing and was like try again and then like i had to like sound out piano but i thought it said potato <laughs> You added too many T's to that word. So these books aren't like racist now or something? Not yet. Hmm. Oh my goodness. They're two white kids. So so. many. (laughs) (laughs) Two never aging white kids. Yeah. I had I had so many of these. Like I had damn near all of them. I was gonna say I think I had all of them. I hope we still have. What other series? What now? I'm I'm trying to. Oh, whoops! That was the wrong one. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the other. So we got Magic Tree Out series. We got Merlin Mission series. Oh, uh, and then there's just Fact Tracker series, which is just uh, facts of the world and whatnot. Hmm. So. That's weird. I thought they did have like 50 some books. Probably between the two series. No, I remember like this one says number 34 or 35 on it. Camp time in California. Um, What about uh, Goosebumps? Y'all ever read the I, Goosebumps? I did read a lot of the Goosebumps, yeah. Or uh, what was the 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 animal ones where they like turned into animals? Oh, um, I know which one you're talking about. Um, oh, it's going to kill me if I don't remember this. Morph, morphers. Uh, something like that. Anna, Animorphs, is that what it was? That might have been it, yeah. I think that's what it was. Animorphs. Oh, okay, so the the normal treehouse goes up to a lot. Hold on. 30, 35. This might be the most. Can we get that one for Megan? Is it a llama? <laughs> yes. Light lunch with llamas. That's funny. <laughs> I don't like the Animorph covers. No, they're pretty They kind of scare me. Yeah. Like a, a animorphs, I guess that should be easy enough to figure out. Oh, this one turns into a bee. Small child turned into a bee. Oh, that one's yeah, creepy. I, I remember these. Oh, I never read them, but I do remember this book being in like the library. I really yeah. remember them in like the book fair. Yeah. Oh no, this kid turned into a cobra. Did you guys ever read the 39 Clues books? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think I read like half of the first one. <laughs> really? I need to I need to just read some uh, kids' books again. I know. Um, or shit, what were they called? Um shit. They had the two options. You good? No, because I can't remember the book title. <laughs> um I can picture it in my head okay. and not what it's called. What was it about? Oh, I f- it was like about like these kids and I think they moved into like an old house that like their grandpa lived in. But then like there were all these like creatures that like came to life. Um, but like their like mom couldn't see it or like something like they needed like a... Um, like a seeing eye to like see the creatures like i'm pretty sure one of the scenes in the book was like there was like all this like uh like scratching behind the wall and the mom was just like oh it's probably just like bats or like a squirrel or something like that but it was actually like all these like little goblins (laughs) and like they needed like the eyepiece to see i have no idea 
I know it had two authors. There was like an author and then there was an illustrator. And I keep wanting to say series of unfortunate events and that's not it. No. Yeah, Google's not helping here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Was it the Spiderwick Chronicle? Yes! Oh. Yes! Thank you, Google. Now I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I typed in... What did I type in here to Google? Uh, book with kids and creatures and an eyepiece. <laughs> it was the eyepiece that got it. Other mm -hmm. than that, nope. Oh, apparently it was a movie. As yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the movie sucked, didn't I it? I don't remember. I don't think I ever watched it. Oh, it made $164.2 million. Oh, well, that's good. Didn't suck that much. I guess not. Yeah, hmm. 39 Clues books. I don't know if I ever got... No, I remember the purple one. That was number eight. So maybe I did get through all the way. We should have a children's book book club. I think we should. I'm down with it. Absolutely. You can get uh, the box set for 60 bucks on Amazon. Oh. Which one? Of the 39 clues. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's Four. 11. Oh, really? 11. How many? Yeah. 11 whole clue books. Oh, sweet. You can get, uh, if you want to pay, hold on. What? And digital cards plus cards. Oh, Amazon's got some one penny different prices here for the same thing. <laughs> I'm going to save a penny. Interesting. That was quite a tangent we just went on right there. Sure was. My, um, yeah, this might be a longer episode than normal. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Normally, I don't get to talk about books. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Next question. Pick a number. 88. 88. Way down the order here. Lots of scrolling. 88. Where was your favorite place to go when you were a kid? Oh, Ooh, a kid. Silver Lake Sand Dunes. Oh, that's a good one. I don't know. You don't know? I really don't. Grandma's and Pa's house? I don't know. I mean, the answer is obviously oh, okay. Caesarland. Caesar oh my Land. god! I forgot mm -hmm. about that place. It's like Chuck E. Cheese, but Little Caesar's version. Yeah. I've never been there. Pretty sure I had a birthday party there. They had this like roll thing and it was like these long cylinders that just rolled and you got to like slide across it. But like, you know, definitely a finger jammer right there. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Little fingers will get in there and get squished real easy. Oh, yeah. I went to Chuck E. Cheese a ton. Yeah. I don't know. And then once I figured out Dave and Buster's was a thing that ended. <laughs> yeah. But they don't have a play place. They don't. But I think I was much interested in the video games. <laughs> Caesarland used to have it had like two play places and one of them was like a bunch of big foam blocks that yeah. you could move around and like build little towers with and stuff gotcha yes. I think we used to throw them at each other sure did <laughs> or like the um the um what the fuck's it called? Like, when you go to, like, Lakeside and they have, like, little children's play place, but, like, everything oh. is, like, big foods. <laughs> like, you have, like, the big waffle you can climb yeah, on. Yeah, the, the foam playground or whatever yeah. on the mall. This is nostalgic right here, looking at <laughs> storefronts of Caesarland. <laughs> I know. That closed not long after. Like, we were not alive that long for that. No, it had to be, like, Almost 20 years ago at this point, right? Yeah, probably. Like, I think I, might... I remember one of my birthdays being there, but I was, like, young, young. Yeah. I might still have a, a coin <gasps> from Caesarland. That's awesome. Hold on. I'm standing up for a minute. Okay. Entertain people. Oh. Whoa. Okay. That's a, That's a lot of work, buddy. What? <laughs> what? Know? It wasn't that. as hard to find. I do have oh, one. Look at that. That's so cool. I bet you could sell that on eBay. I probably could. Let, hold on. Well, I can just find out right now. That is true. I'm so happy that I get to sit in front of my computer this time. Normally, I have to like look at Brendan, and I'm looking at not my computer, and I can't look stuff up very fast. 
Oh yeah. Uh, where else did we go as kids? Um. I don't know. I just remember hiding in grandma's and papa's laundry chute. <laughs> <laughs> that was a I good one. That back room used to be like a playroom for us. That grandma's sewing machine is in now. And the computer. There was a playroom back there. Yeah, and then they mm. like destroyed it one day. We all came over, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> grandma was like, "Sorry." There are no Caesarland coins on eBay. Interesting. See, you can make a million dollars off that. I bet it wasn't that widespread. Like, I'm sure it was probably only here that they had those. Probably. And I only know of the one. What's it look like? The coin? Yeah. It literally looks like Little Caesars. Like. Oh, head? Yeah. <laughs> Like the pizza place. If you uh, look up Caesar Land and you just scroll down, there's a bunch of them on there. Oh, th apparently there was one in Chicago, a oh. Caesar Land. Oh, that thing. Yes, I believe so. Just the the green letters on the outside of the uh, building. Ooh, I'm a child again. <laughs> That was uh, that was the beginning of our lives. Was a lot of Caesar land. Yes, it was. Oh, here's a good uh, picture of a Pet Supplies Plus under Five Caesar bucks. land. Five bucks. Five bucks. No, oh, that's not enough. I'm gonna keep it for a while. There's a Chuck E. Cheese token cup, um, bowl like the ticket bowl, 150 bucks on eBay. Oh, I forgot they had those, too. This is... I gotta get out of here. I'm too nostalgic now. Go away. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting rid of Caesar Land for now. <laughs> that was uh, some good times. And they had the... Uh, there was a machine in the corner uh, where you just, like, put the coin in and it slid down and you tried to... I think it was one of those like pushes the coins off machines. Yes. Oh my god, but I love those. It was like a really easy one. So you could just sit there and put like ten coins in and you get so many tickets out of it. Really? I need yeah. that. Yeah. I sit there at Dave and Buster's for hours at those machines. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a different form of gambling, I guess. It, on the street, oh yeah. Kind of some people thing. like slot machines, some people like flipping coins in there. Absolutely my favorite like last time we went i was like no we have to save this one for last or else we're never gonna get anywhere else <laughs> <laughs> i like to be bad at the dance game oh yeah we did suck at that didn't we it's uh a not in shape enough and probably will never again be in shape enough to play one of those games <laughs> oh absolutely I think after you get past like 15 years old, you just lose any ability to realistically play those games. Yeah. They had a uh, Star Wars VR game when we went there. It might make me puke. <laughs> <laughs> that, that... It also said to sanitize it before you put it on, but there was no sanitizing anything next to it. It, it was like a headset? Yeah, yeah. like mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Don't sanitize it and then put your eyes near it. You'll burn your eyes off. Yuck. Y'all want another question? Yeah. Yeah. What number you got for me? Wait, are we doing like our question of the day? Yeah, you have a question of the day. We can I hit that. I might have two because I'm not sure which one I would like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll go with this. Go one. for it. What happens in real life that is rarely portrayed in movies? And I'm answering this question before you guys do because I'm passionate about it. Pooping. No, getting gas. Like sometimes it happens, but like we this were watching up because we were watching yes, our video. Today. We watched this god awful it was movie. A great movie. It was awful. Yeah. All I wanted to do was cry the whole time. It was called Green Day, and Greenland. it was awful. Greenland. <laughs> it was called the Greenland. country, and it yeah. was yes, it was about this family. The apocalypse, and, not a family. It was well, about the apocalypse. Yeah, well, a family was 
Yeah, whatever, shut up. So, a comet was entering, like, Earth's atmosphere. And, like, at first it wasn't supposed to be anything bad, and then all of a sudden, shit hit the fan, it's bad. And it was going to hit the Earth and cause an extinction-level, like, catastrophic event, like the dinosaurs, right? So then everybody started freaking the fuck out, and the government picked, like, handpicked certain families to take them to Greenland that they deemed was safe because there's all these, like, underground bunkers. And so the family got picked for it, and, like, nobody else in the neighborhood did, and there was so much crying and so much death, and I just wanted to sob the whole time. It was awful. It was great. I hate sad movies. It was a good movie. Look like at Gerard I'm Butler. Traumatized. So, anyway, this whole time, like, they end up getting denied access to um, their... Like, plane. the plane, because their son had diabetes, and they didn't want anybody with medical conditions. So they were like, actually, like, that shouldn't have made it through a screening process. Like, we have to turn you away. Sorry. So now, like, they're still trying to get to Greenland and get to, like, you know, this safe place. And they're driving. They were from, like, Georgia or Florida or something. And they drove all the way to Canada, and never once did they fucking stop to get gas Maybe in this whole apocalypse. Did well, you they, want to watch him get gas? No, but it wasn't for free. <laughs> that wasn't the question. So. <laughs> we would easily make it onto the, the planes, boats. What were they? They were planes. Oh. Yeah, we don't get diabetes, so we're good. That is true. We're immune. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if we were picked. Uh, he was from <laughs> Georgia, by the way. I've looked it up for you. What? Georgia. Georgia? Yeah. yeah see? Yeah. Yep, yep. It was a terrible movie. It was a good movie. I mean, it was definitely well done, but it was so sad. Like, I don't want to watch a movie and just want to sob the entire time. Like, the grandpa died. Like, the poor freaking grandpa. We don't know you're spoiling everything. Poor grandpa died. Everybody died. We don't died. know the grandpa died. <laughs> everybody they didn't died. didn't show it. Spoilers! Literally everybody died. Except for whoever was in the bunker in Greenland. And they had to stay in there for nine months before all the ash settled down. Maybe Grandpa had his own bunker. He didn't. How do you know? Because he was going to die with his horse and go be with his wife in heaven. We went over this. We don't know that. I I guess he got what he wanted, though. I mean, I guess so. But, you know, it was so sad, okay? Like, I want to cry now. So, anyway, (laughs) they never got gas. And it bothers me. (laughs) You've, uh, I was waiting for you to finish, but you've hit something that I, I've wanted to talk about for a while and haven't had the right opportunity. Go for it. In every TV show, every single person has this, like, immense amount of time in the morning before school or work. <laughs> True! Where does I it come like from? ten seconds. Like, the sun's out, they're sitting there eating breakfast, and they're like, I'm getting ready to go to work, we're having this funny thing happen, and it's like, How? It's very true. I'm How do you have four there. hours? Always. That that just annoys me. That was all I had. True. Mitchell has a lot of time before work, but according to him, he's always late. I am late sometimes. But you, the sun's never up for him, though. Well, that is true. But like, he gets to work and then takes a nap in the parking lot. That's how much time he has on his hands. That's good planning. And sometimes I'm late <laughs> to my nap. <laughs> You know what else they never show in movies? What else? The camera crew. True. That's not always true. <laughs> That's not true not either. They sneak in there. <laughs> <laughs> they like to get in there sometimes. Damn those reflections. Um, uh, That's funny that you brought that up. I just saw a Facebook post about, I think it was 300 or um, some type of Coliseum movie. And off to the right of the... Um, camera or whatever videotaping right mm-hmm. in the audience there's like a crew a whole crew like eight guys just in casual jeans and polos like you can tell they're like the camera crew or part of the not you know cast but just dressed normally just standing in the Coliseum <laughs> with everybody else around them in like medieval clothes <laughs> i thought you're gonna talk about the watch one the watch one. I think there's one. Yeah. It's something like that, like yeah. 300, where they're they're like fighting, and somebody's got like a Rolex watch on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hey, you know, sometimes you just miss something. The Starbucks cup in uh, uh, what's that show called? What what's that? What's that big show that everybody hated the ending for? Oh, Game Walking of Thrones. Dead. 
That's the one. Yeah, oh, there was a yeah. Starbucks cup and Ed Sheeran, but that's <gasps> a different thing. I love Ed Sheeran. Yeah, but then everybody freaked out because they were like, is Ed Sheeran just part of this show? Yeah. Like, is he a thing? Ed Sheeran can do whatever he wants. Thank you. Yeah, he made ketchup once. Well, yeah, Heinz made ketchup. Um, yes. One of the twins from Zach and Cody. Mm-hmm. I don't know which one. I forget. But one of them took pictures of his dick. No, <laughs> that one, did happen. But one one of them is a uh, uh, opened up his own brewery. Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure it's beer. I could be wrong, but some type of ale. And maybe it was because uh, there's a difference between like beer, ale, and something else. And uh, I can't remember what the fuck the name of it is. It's mead. Mead, yeah, that one. I knew. I see. I knew it was something different. Dylan, that was. I think he was Zach. Yeah. yeah. In the show. Oh, there's a dog listed as the co-chief treat officer. Oh my goodness. Interesting. He's the best employee according to their website. Is Herc our best employee? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, we can order things from them. Well, not here because we live in Michigan. So. I know. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's oh, pretty. If we lived in Texas, we could get some, though. Well, why are like, we not moving I don't know Texas? why Michigan doesn't allow import of alcohol or liquor. It's so annoying. Because they suck. Let's start a petition. Oh, if we move to Hungary, we can get some soon. Hungary? Like the country? I assume that's what's happening here. Ooh. It says coming soon. No thanks. Or Alabama, New York City, or Louisiana. Let's go to Alabama. Alabama? Yeah. Did you know Alabama is the alphabetical first state? Yep, right before Alaska. Yep. That's how alphabets you know work. What third is? Arkansas. Arizona. Arizona. Arkansas. Yep. Alright, I have another question. Yep. What skill would you like to master and why? Ooh, dual bladed sword fighting. That would be oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Pretty badass. I'd like to master uh, the English language. <laughs> that might be a the good force. place to start. The Valid force. Mm. You know, mine would just be like a martial art, like a badass one. Dual bladed sword. Yeah. <laughs> or like maybe I, like all the martial arts. That'd be fucking. But like cool. not like just straight bladed. Hold on, I got a the the guy from Mortal Kombat who has like the sword hooks. Oh god. I feel like this is a genie yeah. situation where I would pick something that I was really awesome at, but then all my other sucky skills would just like ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> um, cabal. Not maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. No, that's him. Cabal from Mortal Cabal. Kombat. Yeah. Nice. I feel like I would want what do what do I want to do that's not English? I wish I had I wish I had the ability to ride anything that you stand on and need balance for. <laughs> <laughs> that would be I fun. One wheel? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the one it. wheel. Oh, I well, road is a relative term. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. If it don't have a handle, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> like B007. <laughs> oh, oh, that's... I think that's too many skills. I hmm. balance. I think balance vehicles is my is my one thing. Balance a vehicle, like pick it up and balance it. Like no, like any balance vehicle, like a one wheel or a skateboard oh, or a a surfboard. Motorcycle would fall out of there. Well, that has handles though. Yeah, the, the handles take it out of my category. I think. Oh, okay. I can ride handled vehicles, <laughs> scooters, bikes, uh, Did something else that has handles. I think, yeah, that's what I'd go with. Balanced vehicles. Or the English language, one of the two. That's fair. Then I wouldn't have to be, like, trying to speak a, an English sentence and go blap, 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 blap through the middle because I know couldn't speak. Spell weird. Bah, bah, bah. Yeah, I would know how to spell weird, which I've <laughs> never done correctly once in my life. 
<laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> we all are. Yeah. Can't balance on things, can't spell things, can't speak. Oof. But I do remember Caesarland, so. Wait, were both uh, those your questions? Yeah. All right. You got one? No. No? Okay, I got one. What is it, though? I don't remember. Oh, we... <laughs> hold on. We can go back to last week's question, because I'm curious. <laughs> a two-sided die? We already answered that. No, 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 no. That was not the question of the day. There was a better question of the day. Oh, okay. Which was maybe the best part of last week's episode. Where, uh... I asked, what is your best accent? None. British. <laughs> Do you remember when there was like that year straight where I just spoke in a British accent? <laughs> Brendan rattled off about five straight. None of them good, but he <laughs> went for it. He likes the uh, the old Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Yeah. He hits that one pretty hard. Uh, well, Jack Sparrow, where was the rum gone? was really funny when he wasn't trying. <laughs> and then he started trying, and then he just fucked it up. <laughs> what else? He likes to try to do Tom Hanks, but it's just British. Yeah, that was a that's something he does. Um, I think I tried to do French once, and it was really bad. Ooh, yeah, that was a hard one. I like my manly man though. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Doesn't grab uh, your ass on the way down. Gotta grab my ass. <laughs> oh. That's what a manly man sounds like. Oh my goodness. Obviously, I am one. <laughs> ah. You don't like that weak shit whiskey? Mm mm. I'm excited to grab your video. Whiskey's good stuff. Uh. I was going to say something and my brain broke. Well fixed. No, nope, it didn't come back. <laughs> we need uh, we need some non-whiskey people to drink some whiskey with us. We, oh. we need some non-whiskey people to drink some whiskey with us. I, I don't think we're going to get down as many whiskeys as you guys did. Oh, I mean, we started with six and ended up at nine. So I, as I, long as you get to two. Okay. <laughs> I think I can get... I don't know if I can shoot two. You don't need to shoot two. You just gotta... We didn't take, shoot. We need two solid sips where you could at least collect a flavor inventory. Oof. Two solid sips. Oof. That's a good way to put it. Three if flavor you want inventory. Oh. <laughs> I'm always feeling no, frisky. I already wanted to die after trying your whiskeys the other day. Which ones did you... Your... Oh, Bird Traverse Dog. City and Bird Dog? Yeah. Did you try all? Like, I tried the caramel apple and then the other one that you got at me. I think it's apple, just regular apple. Apple, okay, apple. It's not, yeah. Oh, we, the jalapeno one. The jalapeno honey one. That one, it was odd. It's strange. Yeah. It tasted more never, like honey, but. Yeah. I've never drank like green before, but that's what it tasted like. Hot green. Like, I, I hope the blackberry one is good. Yeah, that's so we didn't try that one. Yeah, I didn't get that one. No. It's too sugary. It's too. It's very. Uh, it's a very uh, sweet, like flowery whiskey. Oof. I don't know. It's just, it's gotta grab you. I'm gonna stick with my grabbing. It's gotta ass grab you. Gotta bean dip you. Yeah. Then then Brennan jumps in with his Gordon Ramsay accent about something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I think the only accent I would ever be able to do is like Southern. Yeah. And it'd just be a lot of like y'alls and <coughs> yeehaw. They were talking on the radio the other day about because one of the hosts really likes guys with accents and um, they were making fun of her and asking if she liked like a Southern accent. And she was like, well, there's like a drawl and then there's like hillbilly. And I was like, oh my God, so true. Because there are some Southern accents that you're like, whoo, I like that. And then there's some other ones where you're like, for the love of God, stop talking. Shut up. Please. <laughs> like, I did. I get down to that dirt. <laughs> yeah. There are some good Southern accents. Yeah. But that's for a different podcast. That is fair. I think we've we've used up all our talk for tonight. Probably. Today? This morning? Whenever it is. 
So now I get to usually I get to say Brendan end it and he goes goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. So uh, I'll just I'll take over Absolutely. since he has the inability to ever end an episode. Uh, <laughs> we because I he doesn't take the time to like know everything he should know to tell you people what information you need to know. Like if you want to send us a question of the day, go to womb underscore. Oh shit. I don't even know it. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. Womb buddy pod. Womb buddies pod at gmail.com. Send us a question of the day. If it's inappropriate, I will not read it correctly. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> that was from last episode too. Uh, it, go to our TikTok, which has nothing on it, but exists. Uh, womb underscore buddies 69. Cause we're mature people. <laughs> uh, like us, rate us, subscribe to us, follow us, whatever you do on whatever platform you enjoy. Tell a friend uh, and come back next week for episode eight, where hopefully Brendan will be back. If not, you I know two people that can talk for an hour and 15 minutes. Thanks for listening. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. And just for Brendan. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, God, I lost my mouse. There it is.